Hi guys, I hope you're good and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mbuisa of Lagazi and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. Is it the first time seeing this face? Please ensure that you subscribe. You also hit that notification bell so that you can stay updated whenever we have to upload new videos. And if it's not your first time, thank you once again for your loyalty. What are we doing in this channel? We offer entertainment reporting, we do commentary and review some of your favorite reality shows. Guys, um, today... Let us kind of recap episode 10 of The Real House of Devon. I don't want this to be a long review. I just want to keep it short. I'll save the strength for probably episode 11 and 12, 13 and 14 for the reunion. Just want to get straight to the point. So you remember the last Dukuti Konale box, uh, kickboxing event. And it's Dallas and Sia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now Jojo eventually made an appearance. Um, I mean... I loved that uh, just giving us something different, you know, whereby the attention is not just on these ladies, it's just on other people. Um, I really enjoyed the kickboxing event. However, I would have wished, probably, I would have wished if next time, probably it's women that are boxing. Like, I do, do you understand? It would have been more nice women watching other women, you know, on the ring. I think that would have been nice. All right? Basically, what I'm trying to say is we need to empower more women right yes in these um sporting events so it would have been nice to see yes female um kickboxers all right <laughs> english is trapping me today okay um there was a scene where we saw umbali and her brother and i believe in a cousin look umbali's story is a story that resonates probably with many people in south africa right and i'm not trying to downplay her story but I just feel as if now it's episode 10. Episode 10, Bali, if probably... The, I, I don't understand and I'm, I don't seem judgmental. I don't understand the situation that may do not appear on the show over the past few episodes. But it would have been nice from episode 3 and 4 for us to see your family and for you to delve in deep to those issues that you have. But now it's episode 10. Right now, we're focusing on the main trip of the, of the season and that you guys um, go to the reunion. So it's so sad that I do not, as long as I don't want to be judgmental because I don't know what are the circumstances that led her to, to, to not pitch on the show, all right? Um, yes, yeah, so there was a scene whereby we saw Jojo and Nonku. I'm glad that in their discussion, they, they never spoke about anyone, like in, in a malicious way or anything like that, no. There wasn't anything like that. But I think people noticed that Nonko said, you know what, Jojo, I did tell them that, um, you know, um, that I'm going to defend you till death. And Jojo says, you know, I will not die for anyone. But I think there's, guys, we need to, but Jojo is saying I will not die for anyone. But Nonko did not say she will die for Jojo. Maybe it's me that, don't, that doesn't know English. She said she will defend Jojo to death. Maybe, maybe, does that, is that the same thing to say you're going to defend someone to death until you, I think it means when you say defending someone to death, it means that you will defend them until the last day or the, your last breath. But when you say you're going to die for someone, I feel like those are two different things. I'm not sure. Okay. But just, I will, please help me understand the, the contrast between these two, dying for someone and defending someone to death. I don't know. I think those are two different things. Um, and then they're invited to Sorisha's event, okay? We're going to speak about Sorisha's event as, as time goes on. Um, we saw Viv and Sorisha. I'm so happy that uh, Viv is able to reconnect again with his family and alongside Sorisha. Guys, those children are so humbled. I, when I was looking at those kids, I'm like, these kids are so humbled, okay? If it's my dad who's owning Ocean's Mall, I would just go on like this, you know? I would go like this and be like, Someone tries to step on me. I'm like, do you know that my father owns the small? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not like that. But those kids are so humbled. Okay. But, well, I'm just saying based on, on what I see. I don't know how are they at school. <laughs> All right. Um, there was a meeting of the Spice Girls. If you know the Spice Girls, you know the Spice Girls. Ah, uh, my ring light is it's just giving me trouble. Okay. What's happening? Okay, let me do this. Um, I'm sorry about that. 
yeah, my ring light is just so inconsistent, okay? Um, there were the Spice Girls. And the Spice Girls, you know I'm referring to Sorishas, Lee, and Maria, and Annie. So they're meeting at Maria's house. Maria seems to be a very good host. I like her hosting skills. And now the ladies are there. You know, Sadne speaks. She's like, you know what? As Lee, by the way, um, Nongu said that you are broke. Nongu said that um, you borrow stuff from her. I'm like, yo, guys, we can defend Nongu if we want to, but uh, at some point, someone is not dying about all of these things about her. Like, people, like, I know, out of probably four people that can say things about her, probably three are true. And she's not an angel, okay? I think she did say some of those things. Obviously, when they are presented by Usane, probably they are presented differently. But my issue with Usane is there's a word in Zulu called Uznangela. I don't like it when someone tries to fit in using another person. Probably, definitely, Nongu has said those things. But just, I, I always be careful. I, that, that bond you are creating, guys, is not good when you have to sort of um, take someone's name drag someone's name in order for you to fit in that's how i felt i felt like sane you should have used that opportunity for us to know you better you like tell us more about your family and stuff like that but not for you to use that you no know, go set that in order for you to fit in I, I that's my thoughts you know around that and also it was maria maria trying to be i don't know why people love so much to have a sense of belonging where there is sorisha i really noticed that but whether Nongu said it or not, Nongu definitely probably said it. I she probably said those things, all right? And then and then Lee says, No, I'm not broke. I'm financially stretched. Um, that was a new term for me, but I understand where she's where she's coming from. Being broke and financially stretched are two different things. Um, for example, you know, when you have so many responsibilities and you have your family to take care, you have your kids you probably do not have the leisure of doing anything that you want anytime because as she said you are financially stretched um but you are not broke you know she wouldn't be staying where she's staying you know if she was broke again i think you know who has to work on that because i mean you know all these things all this there's a pattern there's a pattern that we see you know right now that is not nice all right um there was a scene whereby we saw Jojo guys and her husband. So uh, Calvin is going for fillers, right? My thoughts around that 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 episode that scene, I had no problem with him going inside, but it was too graphic. It was extremely graphic, and I would have I don't know, but it, it was too graphic. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who noticed that it was just too graphic. The needles they showed us everything. Even if you wanted to do those fillers, I wouldn't after seeing that. All right, um, Nungu's kids. So the kids, Nungu's kids, and. Lee's kids decide that you know what let's meet obviously they're starting a, a band what's the name of the band the real kids of Devon no I don't know what's the name of the band but I, I forgot the name but it's not the real kids of Devon and uh, I like that you know these ladies um irrespective of their differences they can put aside their differences and not fake also in front of kids as if they love it Davy but they can come together for the sake of kids I really like that okay and child let's talk about the song the see the, the children were singing a song called Commu miscommunication i'm like these kids wrote a song about their mothers uh, uh they love it. The, the toxic relationship mm -mm. The, the kids are singing about their mothers definitely there's miscommunication right there um eventually guys there was a scene whereby oh i forgot there's a scene guys i, I don't lie to you any scenes with the guru <laughs> uh, uh they for me they they just they're not giving that but the only thing i love about the guru i respect him as a person and i respect him as a businessman and i like that he's always objective he never takes everything to heart he's all and this is this is why women and men are different um he's always objective he's not always taking his wife's side he's always like yeah but probably you need to t talk to her or something like that when any um, reveals to him that you know what my friendship with Jojo is declining and then let's talk about Sorisha's event Sorisha invites all the ladies for that fundraiser and everyone is holding dogs was she holding a dog I'm not sure okay um I'd have to go and watch but that's a different cause honestly it's a very different cause and that I I I, I never 
thought about it really you know like yeah we do think about many things that affect human beings but we rarely think of animals especially as p people of color specifically as black people uh black africans um yeah dogs yo saving dogs 150,000 rands so that's a different cause and, I, and i'm glad that so Risha is taking that initiative and what is so nice about this scenes is this show was shot recently i can tell you i think it was recent when um so Risha invited people to an event it was just probably a month ago or something or two weeks ago not two weeks ago three weeks ago or something so lastly um i noticed that there were basically camps jojo's camps and there was maria here and sane there's you know um slee here <laughs> and um and sorisha i i'm like what's happening here okay so maria feels as if uh jojo is cold jojo feels as if maria is cold i, I you know what and i don't like that sane is just putting herself in those in those in that drama leave them you know whether where do you enter that they are not speaking with each other where do you enter where do you enter i just leave them just leave them leave them alone okay so and i feel so bad for ru because he's just in the middle you know he's in the middle unfortunately but it's true guys he has chosen jojo for whatever reasons he has chosen to stick on jojo's side uh, but i do i did like when he said that jojo needs to apologize to any i mean should he she apologize to any specifically i think um jojo should apologize to everyone not specifically to any okay eventually everyone was together and I like that Sorisha. Sorisha is a good host, irrespective of her differences with the people. She's able to say, you know what, let me come and, and ensure that everyone feels welcomed. I like that about her. All right. Um, another thing when the ladies were sitting down, so basically Sorisha's like, hey, um, Jojo, you need to apologize for leaving us hanging there. Ah, Jojo doesn't want to take accountability. And eventually Jojo reveals that her husband is going for another, um, you know, operation, I believe. My thing is I feel bad for Jojo and my heart goes out for her and, and Calvin. But the whole night you didn't speak about that. The con it's, For me, it's the convenience. I'm like, right now you're bringing it. So th now the attention was no longer about Jojo apologizing about the event, about uh, about just leaving everyone. It, it, it now became about Calvin. And you leaving for your own peace. We have no problem with that. But you leaving us in Drakensberg alone as a host is not cool apologize for that also we understand that you had to put yourself first i feel like that's what i'm trying to say but apologize that you had to leave us in the forest <laughs> not that they're in the forest but guys um that's it with episode 10 i cannot wait to see episode um 11 i feel sad that lee has to hide that she's not the host um because when you're hiding that you are the host uh of the next trip you are allow you're opening a room for people to gossip um i know they will gossip even if they know it's you but you are allowing people to say things even they could even gossip to you about you yet yeah, because you are hiding from them that you are the host i feel like i don't know where is maybe she's insecure or whatsoever that, or she's not confident or she believes that people are going to say oh, you were just saying you're financially stretched now you're hosting I don't know, but I, I, I don't think it would have, it, 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 it should have been like that. She should embrace that she's the host. All right. Guys, do such a nice share your thoughts in the comment section below. I love you so much and continue to stay blessed, do blessed and salute.